hello 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 hi guys good morning it's a pretty simple question just a few cases which you need to see and how it's happening uh let's see uh just making examples you will just get this question done a minimum replacement to sort the array you are having a zero integer array called as nums in one operation you can replace any element of the array with any two elements that sum to it so if i have a number let's say six i can break this number down to two numbers so that the sum of those two numbers which i broke down it should be equal to the number which was existingly there now i have to return the minimum number of operations and the operation is to just break a number down into two into next two numbers uh, to make that array in the sorted in the non-decreasing order which means the increasing order cool uh, the examples are given to us but as examples is pretty simple short okay uh, it is three so for sure it needs to be same or increasing so what we can do is just break this number nine down such that it should be more than my three so i can break this number down to any number let's say three and what remaining six but then you also know okay you put down number two three and six but still i have to break this number down for future let's say i got this number three and six so six okay next number is three it's more it's less so i have to again break this number down six so break this number down again to three and three then you get what the answer was all threes it's one for example, but it's not that big. So we'll make a big example to actually see what's happening inside. Why big example is needed? Because we actually have to apply multiple operations in every step. Here we are applying all operation only on the nine itself. But the main crux is to see that how the operation is going to be applied as we go on and move forward. Let's take this example. Ah, uh, see. To build example, just build an example as by yourself. It's just that the main task for us is to apply an operation on any on any numbers like here it, it was just one number i'll take such numbers that okay i'll apply operation 9 let's say i take 12 and then maybe i can put 3 and 3 that's how we can build the examples that's the reason example building is also important cool uh, i just took some numbers uh some numbers which i have to maybe reduce and then again some numbers you saw uh it's increasing cool it's also increasing maybe i have to just affect these numbers down now when i will try to affect these numbers what will happen okay uh for sure i have to try to make it as increasing or maybe non decreasing cool so i will just try to build this entire thing like this like this right again what i can do is um i know okay it's a one it's a two so next number it should be more yeah it's more cool go on uh next number it's 11 oh yeah it's also more go on next number is three. Oh this is less so okay cool reduce this number reduce number to three and then remaining is what remaining is simply eight um but still eight is again more than three okay cool again reduce it reduce it to three and again what's remaining five again okay, five is still more than three again reduce it to three and two. Oh, now everything is less but you know okay three 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 two oh aryan now again you have to reduce 9 because you reduced 11 to this 3, 3, 3 and 2. So again, reduce the 3. So what happened was, you tried to, you tried to reduce a number. Now, okay, it was good. But let's say I would have asked you. Then, okay, like, let's go back and let's reduce this number 9 again first. So again, it will reduce by 3 and again, it will get 3 and 3. Still last smallest number was a 2 so reduce by 2 itself and not by 3 okay i'll reduce by 2 okay, i'll get a 2 i'll get number 7 again bit down to 2 and 5 again bit down to 2 again bit down to 2 and uh, 3 again bit down to 2 and 1 oh again i got a small number again i have to reduce the previous number 2 1 and 1 so you saw what happened as I was going in from left to right, because of one number reduction, I have to reduce, keep on reducing the entire all previous numbers. So, for any number, if I just try to reduce it, then it, there's a chance I will be reducing all the previous numbers. So, I will reduce this. Because of this, I, I might reduce all previous numbers. Then again for this, I might reduce all previous numbers. Again for this, I might reduce all previous numbers. So, for every i, I will be reducing and going back to all the i minus ones, which is roughly of n square. And that would not work so the main issue for us was that okay uh, reducing I was trying to go on backwards again and again again and again so if I was going backwards again and again so why not start from the back itself what I will do is I start from the back itself now what I will do okay four three I will say okay it's I want this to be increasing so it should be decreasing now keep on decreasing it 11 now make 11 
as impact as 3 okay now what what will happen to 11 it will become a 3 and then i will break it down to 3 is gone because see again i am trying to break it as nearest to as possible i know that this thing is decreasing so it is the number which is the maximum number which i have right now in my hand so i will just try to build this number build this number 11 as max as possible but okay minimum value it should be three for sure it cannot be more than three so it, it's maximum number it can be there break after breaking down remaining number is eight okay again cool three plus five again three plus two now it is the number which i could form okay it is the best thing which i could form and then i'll go on and say for you nine bro next smallest number is actually a two so now you have to break down in 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 respect to a two I'll just repeat the same process for it. Now you saw that it will just simply keep on going backward. Now again, one thing that you know that the maximum value is three. Now how what I mean by maximum value is that you after breaking the next number down, which means 11, you put down to three, three, three and two. Here the maximum value is three. Minimum value is two. But this two is not the minimum value it is a maximum value which is actually minimum in this entire thing in this entire thing it's the minimum value but i try to maximize it as max as possible why i want to maximize it as max as possible so that next number if i have to unfortunately break down i should break down to as low as possible what i mean by that is here let's say i would have a one so sorry here let's say i had a two itself but let's say i would have broken into one so it's of no use right i will just try to maximize it and break it to bring to a maximum possible number because ultimately this name value i need to maximize so that next ones it should not be broken down because I, because as i break down in this breaking down number of operations required were three because num the parts let's name it as parts it has become four parts number of operations required were three and i want to minimize these operations if i will actually make it minimize less then i will unfortunately have to break next number down also so i will just try it okay every number should be as max as possible and for sure i'm concerned only about the minimum number because i am just making at it as decreasing cool uh, so i will just name as maximum minimum number it should be three and i will just try the next number which is this number i'm going on from right to left so this next number it should be as max as possible which means the minimum number should be as max as possible now 11 i just put down simply by simply the one thing which for sure comes in mind is okay my next number is three so i will just try to maximize it so what i can do is i can just start putting three first okay three 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 and then whatsoever remaining is a two so for sure um that would be my answer i have four parts now ultimately i'm concerned about these parts also so four parts i will get for these four parts maximum value for the next number will be actually a two cool now in my answer as i got these four parts which means breaking this into four parts operation to break is three so i will just add three in my answer because it will be number of parts minus one but you saw that how we broke down here we broke down okay last number was three so i will just try to place three three first three 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 what's the remaining was two is it a good strategy to place is it a good strategy no why not because why if we just place three 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 then whatsoever would be remaining would come in the end now in the end it could be very minimum also so what we ultimately want is uh, it should not be very minimum I should strategically put a number such that it should be as max as possible. So what we can do is we can look at the example firstly, but what we will try to do is we will try to equally distribute in all of these four parts. We know that it will come in these four parts. We know the maximum value it can be three, which means for sure we know that it can come in these four parts in f f four boxes. I can put some values after putting the values i can just try to equalize those values so that okay all the values becomes as equal to them as possible how let's see if the example would have said the last number would have been four so you will just by the previous example what you could have done is you could have taken down to four 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 and one but that's not a good strategy it's better to equalize all of them how you know that number of parts number of parts which means it will have four parts four boxes it will have how four boxes simply say okay number is 11 number is 13 now maximum minimum value is 4 so you will divide this 13 
by 4. So basically 4 is the maximum value which it can actually have. Okay, cool. So you will get the 4 parts and see I'm taking the C value because 13 by 4 will give me a 3. So it just say okay, I can put 3, I can put 4 3 times but still I want to bring in entire number 13 so some remainder will be remaining that I can just put in here. So ultimately it's just saying that the number of parts required if I just try to place it as max as possible value will actually be 4 parts. So I with this 4 parts I can place my 4 entirely. I can place my this number 13 entirely on these 4 parts. Okay cool. Uh, and best strategic option which we saw was okay 4 4 4 and 1 but uh, we also realized that for the next number going in we want to make this number make this minimum number as max as possible so we what we can do is okay now we know that we have four parts rather uh, firstly logically thinking we have to equalize this so what we can do is increase this decrease this decrease this or something like that so what i did was increase this 2, 3, it became a 3, 3, 3 and we get 4. Still, the sum is 13 and for sure the sum will, it can for sure come in these 4 parts because 4 parts is the best option for us. We saw 4 parts is the, four parts, 4 parts is the best option. Now, breaking this 4 parts, we want just, okay, this value should be as max as possible, which means the minimum value should be as max as possible. Simply how we got it, we know that, okay, we have 4 parts. Now, if we have 4 parts, um, if I divide and keep on dividing my number, so every number will come in this particular part. Now, if I had to divide number 13 by 4, so what I will get as a 3. So 3 will be a value. Okay, I can just place these down. 3 into 3. So with this, sorry, 3 into 4. I can just place these number 3 into 4 down. With this, what I am saying is I have 4 parts. Now I will place my, I divided, I, I, I am trying to make my all parts as equal as possible. So I divided, I know I have 13 as a number, I divided by 4 parts. So I can place 3 on all these parts. Now the remainder is 13 mod 4 is actually a 1. So now whatsoever is the remainder, I will just place it here. At, okay, plus 1. Let's say if the number would have been 14, 14. So I would have placed, okay, plus one here. 15, okay, cool, plus one here. 16, cool, plus one here. That's how you actually make all these numbers as, as close as possible. Because ultimately in the beginning itself, you just try to place all the numbers as equal as possible. And after placing all these numbers as equal as possible, then you can just add the remainder. And for sure, uh, the smallest number would actually be nothing but three itself. Because you will not, ultimately, you want the new number. So you, you would not, you want a new number, so you, what you will add, which means the remainder, and remainder it can add max be 4, because you are doing more by 4, the remainder at max can be plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. If it would have been here, so it would have been a 16, so that's not a case for us, because all would have been 4 in that case, but yeah, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So remainder is for sure a 0, oh, sorry, like the, the minimum number is for sure a 3. So I know that, okay, I will divide all the numbers equally, and to divide all the numbers equally, firstly, I got the parts, I know, okay, I, so optimally I can divide into four parts. Now, if I know there are four parts I have to divide, now I know every part, the value will come in as three for sure. Now, whatsoever is the remainder, I can add the remainder in those, those parts. For sure, the minimum value remaining will be actually a three itself. So that is the minimum value which I can get. And it is the next max minimum value which I can pass on to a next number. Say, okay, bro, next number for you, the maximum value, which means, again, I'm saying it is a maximum possible minimum value, which I have taken. Uh, it's actually a three for you. And now you have to get break down in comparison to a three. And that's how you can simply solve it. Again, the main point is just as we saw that firstly, we know what are the number of parts required. We know we have, let's say four parts required. Answer will give me operations are, are nothing but parts minus one. Now I have got four parts, but for the next number, what's the next max minimum value? Because you know, to get the parts also, I have to divide the number with the maximum value of the last part. Like the last maximum minimum value was three. So with this, I'll get the new parts because I need to get, okay how many parts actually required to accumulate this entire number and break this number to this maximum value. Now, when I have got the parts, again, I have 
to get the new maximum value for that i know one thing for sure that i will try to divide it as equal as possible and when we say as equal as possible just divide the number with all the parts so you will get the value as as max as possible because you are dividing that equally so okay i'll just use this maximum value for the next number which is actually nine cool let's quickly see the code it's pretty simple firstly you are moving on from back so i initialized my maximum value with the last number itself then i moved on from back which means the second last number i got the number of parts as we discussed above it is nothing but the nums of i upon the max current max minimum value now for sure we want the seal value as we saw earlier also that 11 11 uh, by 3 is actually giving us a value 3 so just say okay I can place in 333 three, three, but for sure i will have some remainder also so i just want uh, I, I just want okay the number of parts will be actually uh, a seal value of this number 11 by 3 now okay i have got the number of parts answer which means the result will be the number of parts like just adding parts minus one because operations are nothing but breaking operations cool uh, now i have to get the next maximum value for the next number because i'm going on to i minus minus so for the next number uh, the new maximum value will be nothing but nums of i by parts how because we know that if the parts are we, we know the number of parts are four so for sure we have to break these numbers down to as equal numbers as possible now we will just try to place these numbers firstly as equal numbers as possible and then we will just add the remainders and that is the entire concept to make the entire array as equal as possible remember this part it's actually a see it's actually two small medium problems which means it is one concept which means uh, getting the numbers as equal as possible and it is one concept getting the number of parts required to place in and to have the number okay i know the maximum number possible is actually a three so how you will number of number of boxes required to place in the number such that the sum becomes equal to x so not, it's nothing but x by three seal value it is the number of boxes will required to actually get this sum as x provided three is the maximum number you can have in the entire array cool number of parts uh number of nums of i by parts Again, it's not a seal value because you know that you want the base because the remainder you will add it later to actually get the actual values. And but I'm ultimately concerned about the minimum value, so I will just take only the lower values. So cool. Um, then I will get the maximum value, and the loop will keep on going, and we'll get the answer. Ultimately, I can just simply return the result, which is the number of operations. Time O of n space O of n because we have not used anything whatsoever. Cool. The code jump below. I hope you guys got it. Bye.